लाइक करें सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकन जरूर प्रेस करें Hey, it's Eric, and today we're going to be talking about how to rekey or even change the cylinder on the level lock touch. Now, if you don't know about the level lock, in a nutshell, it is Level Home's newest lock that you can actually touch to lock and unlock. But what I think is even cooler is the level touch NFC capabilities. So you can take the level lock card, put it up to the lock, and it will unlock for you. Plus, this exact same hardware technology is exactly what you need for Apple home keys once Apple releases that that's just a rumor I'm just saying that on my own I think it will work with Apple home keys since it already works with Apple home kit but with all this technology sometimes you want a fail safe or something to go back on just in case something doesn't work and that's where a key comes into play so if you do already have one single key for all your locks at home like I do you can actually rekey this or rechange the cylinder to match those locks. So the current cylinder is just a Schlage five pin cylinder. If you can find something else very similar that uses a different key, you can definitely put it in there. But everything in my house is that Schlage five pin. So all I need to do is change the pins. And I'll be good to go. Now upon first look, it looks like this whole unit is sealed, but actually it's not. You want to take your screwdriver and put that in towards the bottom, there's a little slit for it, and you want to pry up the cover. Um, once you do that, you'll see four screws. Now this is a special star drive that you can uh, um, just get a special bit. You can find it here on Amazon. You undo those four screws, pop off that back cover, and now you'll have access to the electronic guts and the cylinder. Now this is where you want to be extremely careful here. A lot of the electronic parts are very sensitive and they're only tied on um, together through the little connection um, ribbons. So you don't want to bend those, you don't want to break them off. So you gotta be really careful of how you get this cylinder out. But you do want to pull the cylinder out from the electronic park parts without damaging them at all. And once you get the cylinder out, it's just your standard rekeying. Now you can do this yourself. There's kits online where you can change out the pins or you can take it to your local hardware store or locksmith and they're do it for you. It is really easy to do. If you want to try it yourself, I highly recommend it. I think most people will be able to do it. Once you do it, go ahead, put it right back together the exact same way that you took it apart and you will have a new key system that works with the old key system. So now you have the best of both worlds. You have all the smart capabilities and you have the fallback of a normal key. I hope this video was helpful. I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.